Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about one of the important nucleic acids that we know. Remember that nucleic acids include DNA, RNA, and even ATP. DNA is composed of a very basic structure. Uh, in here we have uh, the three parts that we will talk about. So, this is probably um, the easiest way to depict DNA. So we have a sugar, a pentose, is composed of five carbons. That's why we have one, two, three, four, five angles over here. This sugar is uh, linked to a phosphate group and a nitrogenous base. In DNA, we have four types of nitrogenous bases. These include adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. We also know that these nitrogenous bases are going to pair following a very strict pattern. In this case, we can observe that C stands for cytosine. This is the nitrogenous base. It's always going to bond with one in. in this case the one that we see on the right so C bonds with G and A with T in this case we see how adenine binds with thymine so always A with T and C with G like we saw in the previous slide there is obviously a bond between these two nitrogenous bases. This is a very special type of bond. This is known as hydrogen bonds. So hydrogen bonds are going to keep those uh, nitrogenous bases together. Actually, those hydrogen bonds are not very strong. When uh, we are working in the lab and we need to split the DNA double strand, we just need to increase the temperature by a few degrees and those hydrogen bonds will uh, break apart. So the hydrogen bonds are going to play the role of uh, the zipper on this double ladder um, and the uh, rungs when we will put our, our feet if we were going to climb this ladder. Um, the hand area where you're gonna uh, put your hands if you were going to climb this ladder is going to be formed by these phosphate groups which are bonded to the pentose, the sugar, the deoxyribose sugar. In here we can see uh, we have highlighted the basic unit of uh, DNA. We have a nucleotide which is formed again by a 5-carbon sugar, deoxyribose, a nitrogenous base, in this case is cytosine, and also the phosphate group. You can see that the phosphate group always links to the sugar um, above. DNA molecules, they have a very special configuration. They are a twisted double helix, a twisted ladder, if you wish, they um, actually are probably the only type of molecule that has that um, configuration, that shape. So anytime you see a twisted ladder, you have to think about DNA. A sequence of nucleotides will form what we call a gene. One single gene is going to codify for a specific protein. Um, the more closely related two organisms are, the more similar those sequences of nucleotides are going to be. This table is showing us um, one specific protein, this is hemoglobin, and this comparison is between uh, humans and gorilla, humans and this monkey, humans and the mouse, and so forth. So we can see that uh, this uh, particular protein, hemoglobin, is extremely similar to uh, the human hemoglobin. There is only one amino acid difference in the whole protein. 
as you go to a less or least uh, related species, least related to the, to the human, so we see that more and more amino acids are going to be found as different between the two, between the humans and the other species. But gorilla is by far the most similar um, to, um, to the human protein hemoglobin. This uh, is going to be the end of our short review about DNA, one of the nucleic acids.